Can happiness be found in a teeny bikini? Well, I love being on the beach, and there's nothing like getting a beautiful tan in a bikini. Totally! Wearing a bikini makes me feel empowered. It's like an expression of my femininity. 24-year-old Joelle wants a tummy tuck so she can wear a bikini. It's youthful, it's, it's health. I think a lot of women, myself included, focus on bikinis because it's this embodiment of summertime and sexiness. And if you can wear that, then that means that somehow you can own those qualities yourself. Does a bikini-ready body have real value? A survey of 1,600 women revealed that 90% were concerned with their appearance in a bathing suit. 45% of women say they won't wear a swimsuit in public. Is happiness being thin enough for a teeny bikini? If I gained weight and couldn't wear a bikini, I'd feel quite depressed. I would kind of feel like I had to hide my own body. I love wearing a bikini because I've worked so hard to get the body that I have now. Happiness is having your health and a family and a meaningful existence. A and being thin enough to fit in a teeny bikini. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's happy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fiona Whittington Walsh teaches sociology at Ryerson University. Research reveals that young girls are feeling enormous pressure to be super girls. They feel that they have to excel at everything. School, jobs, being thin, and dressing right. 24-year-old Joelle has lost 75 pounds through a healthy diet and exercise. At my heaviest weight, I was 225 pounds, and that was about four years ago. And now that she's at her ideal weight, Joelle wants a tummy tuck so that she can wear a bikini. It's smushy and hollow and not sexy at all and just not pretty. I kind of go, I go like this sometimes. I go, oh, look, there's my belly button. <laughs> I just want to wear a bikini, I do. I want to go with my friends who are all my age and gorgeous and prance around in their little swimsuits. What's this meat like? It's really good. Want some uh, arugula? Yes. I don't think she needs anything, actually. <laughs> I think she's fine the way that she is, but I understand from her point of view, she's young and she still has lots of years ahead of her. There's just this one little piece that's left that you know, no amount of exercise is really gonna make a difference here. And this is really the only solution for her. So I think it's a good decision. I hate the fact that there's this leftover from being so heavy and I just want it gone. The media sends women a message that thinness is necessary for success. In the workplace, not only do women need to maintain an intellectual edge, but they need a slim figure to succeed. Joelle wants to have tummy tuck surgery so that she can wear a bikini. It's tough like when you go shopping at 24 and you want to go buy a swimsuit and they're all two pieces. They're all two pieces and the one pieces, they're just, they're not hot, they're not. And I want a hot bathing suit. I want a tummy tuck because it'll let my outer self be a really good reflection of all the work that I put in, all the weight that I've lost. I'm not 100% comfortable yet, and so I'm hoping that getting a tummy tuck will let me feel more comfortable with myself and the way I look. According to the Canadian National Eating Disorder Information Centre, Eating disorders are now the third most common chronic illness in adolescent girls. Does the pursuit of thin bring unhappiness? Uh, yeah. Because I felt pressure to be thin, I developed an eating disorder when I was in high school. I suffered from bulimia for a period of time because I wanted to be as skinny as my family and friends. The pressure's on for girls to be thin, resulting in this kind of thing called wanorexic. Girls who want to be anorexic. And there's been an enormous rise in teenage girls smoking because smoking is known to curb the appetite. Dr. Jerome Edelstein is a board-certified plastic surgeon practicing in Toronto. He'll be preparing Joelle today for her tummy tuck surgery. Joelle, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Let me take a look. So, you show me what bothers you the most. Um, it's mostly just like 
that area this, there. Yeah, this larger, the one main roll kind of thing. And yeah, that would so totally be. You've got loose extra skin here. Yes. And this is from all the weight loss. Yeah. Okay. Bend over just a little bit okay. and cough for me. <laughs> okay. And then relax your stomach muscles. That's great. The thing I'm checking for there is are your muscles also stretched apart a little bit? Because that sometimes happens with when you, you've gained a lot of weight and then you mm -hmm. lose it. Now the surgery, basically I have to make a, an incision along the belt line. And it really is a fairly long incision, it goes hip to hip. Now what I do is I lift all the skin and the fat off the muscles all the way up to the ribs. And then I'll pull the extra down and remove the extra. And I'll definitely stitch it as nice as humanly possible, but we'll keep it low so you can have it hidden, you know, under a bathing suit bottom or underwear. Excited? Yes. yes. Tummy tuck surgery is not without risk. Joelle could face complications. Skin necrosis. If the blood supply is cut off, skin can die. Cardiac arrest. Excessive bleeding during surgery can lead to a heart attack. Permanent numbness. If nerves are damaged during surgery, the result can be permanent numbness. Joelle is willing to take on the risks of a tummy tuck so that she can wear a bikini. Her mother brings her to the hospital on surgery day. I feel really excited but also nervous and scared and emotional and anxious. Okay, so come this way, please. My biggest hope after the surgery is that I'll just be able to fit in more with other people my age and just feel more at ease with myself. It would make me feel happy to be able to wear a bikini. <laughs> Last year, more than half of the swimsuits sold were bikinis, an increase in sales of 25%. Since I've had my breasts done, I love wearing a bikini. Before my plastic surgery, you wouldn't have caught me dead in a bikini. A survey of American women revealed that to be an ideal weight, 21% would give up 10 years of their lives. We're going to a busy downtown corner to put this survey to the test. We'll ask 15 women if they would sacrifice 10 years of their lives to be an ideal weight. Would you sacrifice 10 years of your life to be an ideal weight? No. Sacrifice 10 years of your life? I don't think I would. Obviously not. I don't think I would. No. Lisa, call the police. 10 years? Call the police. Great. People focus way too much on looks. They just have to live their life. In 10 years, is so much in 10 years. No way, I definitely would not sacrifice 10 years of my life. It's not worth it. Gosh, no. <laughs> no, no. I would not sacrifice 10 years of my life for the perfect body, because you can lose weight. <laughs> Are, okay, but they're already thin, though. Look, look at that one. Look at her, she's like a European model. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely not. What good is having the ideal body if you've got no life to live? Yes, I would. Probably, hopefully, my 70s. Uh, but definitely, I would give up 10 years to have that perfect bud. Yes, I would. <laughs> 10 years? How crappy is your life? Who think. needs to retire when you can look good? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I probably would at this point in my life. No. I think life is more important than perfection. No, definitely no, not. Definitely not. <laughs> 10 years is a huge chunk, so why? So, no, I don't think it's worth it. No, definitely not. Not giving up 10 years. No, definitely not. <laughs> you can do a lot in 10 years, and you can do it whether you're fat or skinny. 80% of women would not sacrifice 10 years of their life for their ideal body weight. But 20% of women would sacrifice 10 years of their life for the ideal body weight. Will men be willing to sacrifice 10 years of life to be an ideal weight? Joelle worked hard to get to her ideal weight, and now she's undergoing tummy tuck surgery. I'm just really anxious and really excited for the surgery to be done and over with so I can wake up to my new flat stomach. 
Dr. Edelstein begins yeah. by freeing the skin from around Joelle's navel. He then liposuctions fat from the upper half of Joelle's abdomen. Okay. Next, an incision is made from hip to hip below Joelle's bikini line. Excess skin is removed. Joelle's abdominal skin is pulled down and her navel is stitched into its new position. Finally, the hip-to-hip -hip incision is closed. Joelle's tummy tuck surgery took three and a half hours to complete. That's it and we're done. How does Dr. Edelstein feel the procedure went? I think it went fantastic. I think it was, you know, everything I wanted it to be. And I think that she's gonna be happy with the results. Joelle will be carefully monitored by nursing staff as she recovers from her surgery. Women are twice as likely to be depressed as men. Of course we are. We have to wear bikinis. And one study reports that women who have had cosmetic surgery are three times more likely to kill themselves than other women. This is crazy. Does unhappiness lead to plastic surgery? We're going to a busy downtown street corner to ask 15 men if they would sacrifice 10 years of their lives to be an ideal weight. Would you be willing to sacrifice 10 years of your life for an ideal body weight? No. No. No way. Then no, I would that. not. I'd rather be fat, love food, and whatever. I wouldn't sacrifice 10 years of my life for anything. I'm happy with the body I have, so why would I give up 10 years of my life when I could be having fun with those 10 years? I think there's a lot more in life to make you happy than just a perfect body. Okay, no, I wouldn't sacrifice 10 years of my life. I work construction, so I'm fit. That's it. I think I'm good the way I am. Nope, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Nope. Yes. The way I look at it is um, you only live once, and 10 years ain't that bad. And if you have, like you said, 70 years of perfect body and health and mind, I mean, you're going to have a happy life. No, probably not. Yes. No. Yes. You sacrifice 10 years to live the rest of your life better. Yeah, that's a pretty fair trade-off. It makes sense. Come again? I don't think so. <laughs> no. 10 years is a lot of time. You can do so much in 10 years. Yes, definitely. It'd be well worth it because uh, being healthy is very important. I'd like to go back and ask all of these people how many years they'd give up of their life at age 65. <laughs> yeah, 70 doesn't seem that old anymore, does it? No. Because every day is precious to me, so I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. Seventy-two percent of men would not sacrifice ten years of their life for their ideal body weight. But twenty-eight percent of men would sacrifice ten years of their age for their ideal body weight. I was surprised that more men than women would sacrifice ten years of their life to have this ideal body weight. It just shows men are just as affected by negative body image as women are. It's been three months since Joelle had her tummy tuck surgery. Joelle's stomach is flatter. It's less plump. And her belly button is now revealed. I'm thrilled with the way my tummy is now. When I look in the mirror now, it's just a really freeing experience. I see a flat tummy with a belly button, which I never saw before, and that was, to me, like a huge thing. I feel like my tummy matches the rest of me much better, which is pretty great. Okay, Joelle. First off, it has a molded cup, okay. sort of a sweetheart neckline. Okay, okay so why don't you give that a try? Thank you. Has Joelle found happiness in a bikini? It makes me feel so happy and so amazing and so beautiful to be able to wear a bikini. The thinness ideal is created and sustained by parents, peers, media pressure, and young girls really do believe the only way to be beautiful is to be thin. Do I think that my stomach is now perfect? No, I don't. But overall, I am so much happier than I was before.